check this place out, guys. Old plastic injection molding place. A couple train chillers, which they said they don't need, so we don't have to do anything with those. Check out these awesome cooling towers. So it cools process stuff, but also cools water source heat pumps inside. But check this out. Something we've noticed that right away. These uh, pipes are just angled, cut open pieces of uh, PVC in there. There's no strainer. No strainer in there. All of them connect to the common, go to all the different things for the chiller processes in the building. And then the heat exchanger, there's a heat exchanger right there for the, which then goes to the other pumps for the building pumps for the water source heat pumps. That's what we're here to try to get going for a new tenant. So uh, water pumps, or comes from the cooling towers, goes over there into these pumps. Look, where is the strainer? No strainer in there. Goes through, no strainers on any of that. And then it goes right over to the heat exchanger. And then the heat exchanger water then feeds to the other pump, which pumps back to the to the uh, spray nozzles, basically. And they have leaks everywhere, and you can see people have patched them with that kind of stuff. But check this out. I just, uh, this thing was off. I just ran a screwdriver. We've been running screwdrivers through all these uh, ball valves there, plugged up. Finally got the pressure gauge to work. 30 PSI coming from that pump. 30 PSI of water from the basin over there through the pump into the heat exchanger bottom. How much water is going to the out of the heat exchanger? 4 PSI. 30 PSI in, 4 PSI out. 26 PSI drop. So all the sediment and everything and all the shite is plugged up in here in this heat exchanger. So for this pump not to cavitate, you know, it's on the outlet of the heat exchanger. I got this butterfly valve closed all the way to like 80%. Or just, you can hear it cavitate. Oh, you hear that? Not happy. So, we're just looking at this heat exchanger here. And it looks like it's definitely made to, to uh, take apart and clean right here. Should be able to just take this part and slide it back and then take apart each section, and, which I have cover. We have the cover guards over, over here. I think we could take each of these pieces out and clean it, maybe. I've never done that on one of these. Never had to. But uh, the customer said it was spraying water like crazy out here, but it just isn't doing it today. But, huh. But, yeah. All the pressure is probably just going through a couple of those. Probably plugged up all back in there. Huh. And it's most of this stuff is from 1978. This is a super changer. Some of this stuff is pretty old. I don't know if those are original towers or not. Just with the fans on top, they look like silos, man. Pretty cool. Cleared out all these plugged up ball valve connections so we get ourselves some pressure. There's the makeup. I followed the water supply line over there and found out it was turned off at the uh, backflow preventer. Got almost 8 psi in there. On that half, that's the uh, closed loop for the water source heat pumps inside. But the other part that's coming from the spray nozzles and everything goes here. Look at that. That's somebody's fix. A couple of those patches. <laughs> it might be slowing it down a little bit. That is custom. Yeah. A lot of stuff here, but a lot of it won't be used. The amazing part to me, though, is that how clean these panels are for these uh, cooling towers. Oh, this is a custom panel right here. Birds can probably fly right in there. Probably not a lot of water flow. It's all choked down. So it's probably a fraction of what it would be. Just took off this little uh, wannabe leak stop. He was like trying to figure out what all this stuff was. I didn't know if maybe it was, uh, you know, sediment from the towers. 
But no, I think it's like a whole bucket's worth of plumber's putty. Somebody smashed it around the leak and then put that around it. <laughs> Just trying to see exactly where the leak is. So there's silicone here too. Yeah, but it's leaking right there out of that reduced pushing reducer. This is funny. Look at that. It's kind of all around there. It didn't work. Huh. How funny. Yeah. This is going to be the way that it runs for a while. Got that leak. Coming out right there. That's only 4 to 5 PSI. You even put a gauge right there to clear that out. It's like 4 or 5 PSI. That comes after the heat exchanger, which is plugged. Almost 30 PSI into the heat exchanger from the first pump from the tower. Dropping down to like 4 to 5. Comes over here, feeding into that pump, which I have to choke off to discharge almost to 80%. Keep it from cavitating, you know, from the... So that pump's probably going to be real happy loaded up with the... Uh, valve being ported like that <laughs> and probably trade off because it's also got a lot less volume of water half the pumps don't work so like we're over there looking and like uh, the one uh, building pump runs there this one I don't think I think they said it's bad over there the spray pump number seven's working or pump I mean pump from there and then the other one it's seized so they're like on our last leg with everything, but every, from what we understand, this uh, facility hasn't really been used in years and they're gonna resurrect it. I still just can't get over that these panels, these are, look how clean they are. <laughs> Doesn't look like it comes down all a fit that well in that one. But if you go to the first, tower over there. Looks a little more normal even though it's at the very end of the pipe that comes back. So these are pretty interesting towers here. Go a wide screen here. Again, there's just a uh, PVC going in there at an angle, no strainer, no screen, just sucks in water. Water goes over, and all of them just pull together, go to here, and, get, and go to all the pumps. Used to be a chiller pump to the train chillers. Right here, a process pump going uh, inside the building, just 80 degree water, I guess, to, for ejection mold cooling and stuff, uh, or some things. This also was ejected mold cooling for 45 degree water or 50 degree water. So, and then this is our pump to pump water to the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger's plug comes out and then you got that pump which actually pumps it back out through the pipe that goes back behind all these things. All these come, that's the, the supply water or what do you want to call it, return water if you want to call it. Goes in, goes up that pipe. Two stairs to the top, I guess, to the spray nozzles. And then you just have a single fan on the top of each one of these silo looking cooling towers that have been here for years. I don't know if there's any. Any uh, tag on this thing? Decal or whatnot. things flying around. I almost thought it was wasps for a second. Now someone does have that choked down for some reason on that one. No. And those blue stickers are almost gone. Something cooling towers. I think it says Delta. I think that said Delta cooling towers. I don't know how old they are. I don't know if they're the original here. Some of the equipment here is listed as 1978, so I know not everything is. And a bunch of these freaking... Disconnects keep breaking on us. Yep, so got just enough volume to probably run a couple of water source heat pumps in there. I guess they have a pretty small production facility being set up 
given the size of the building that this is. Pretty big building in there. And they got these. I think they're all going to get gutted, they said. These probably still work. RTWA 1104. Serial number starts with a U, so I don't know how that is. It is 02E04656. I wish it said the date on here. I know these aren't 1987 with these controls. Could be late 90s or probably 2000 something. And they have some huge freaking air compressors. Looks like the giant supercharger looking rotor pumps there. Motor looks like it's 30, 40 horse. <laughs> These motors are 75 horsepower, dude. On that, 75 horse on an air compressor. Holy shit. Did you? There's this big ass one. All this stuff's getting gutted, evidently. <laughs> Air cooled. 150 horse Quincy compressor over here. Yep. So, all sorts of water treatment stuff. These are storage tanks for the chilled water. Got more cooling towers over there. I guess most of this stuff's coming out, but they just need cooling for the water source heat pumps that are in there, so. We might have made it work enough just to get a couple of them cooling, <laughs> but uh, got to get them some repairs loaded or whatnot. See what they want to do. I say they should put in a couple uh, new cooling towers. They would have the new spray pumps. You get rid of the two pumps that are over here for the spray pumps, and then you just need the the building closed loop pump just to push through the tubing bundle. You know, and you have to worry. And you uh, have the regular strainers on the uh, spray pumps that are built in. Don't have to worry about adding them over here. You know, because it should have a strainer right here, which it doesn't. That's all cooling, open cooling tower water going right into this heat exchanger. So, I guess those could be cleaned out, but that's probably going to break gaskets and everything. So, anyway, we'll see what happens. Catch you guys later.